Vlogs. I'm Maddie G. I'm Kelsey T. I'm Rachel B. Today is your morning announcement. Today is Wednesday, May 19th. Go to yearbookforever.com to order your yearbook. Yearbooks are now on sale for $45 through June 3rd. Order online at yearbookforever.com or bring a cash or check to Mrs. P. Reminder to all students, athletes, student athletes, that fourth quarter eligibility determines your academic eligibility for the fall season. The boys and girls cross country teams need kids. If anyone is interested in participa participating, they need to see Mr. Meredith. Um, they don't just need kids. They, they need people to run. A message from Mr. Barnes in eighth grade. You guys did the Life is Good projects. Quiet on set. Um, and so he has them. If you want them, go down and get them and you can come to his room. Also spread the word to anyone who did that project. Another senior informational, yes, all locker decals must be removed and parking passes returned by May 26th. Failure to turn in parking passes will result in $5 fee, assess fees which must be paid prior to the commencement ceremony. Attention Varsity M members. Members who are signed up for Community Service Day, it is now tomorrow. Get your permission slips to Dickinson ASAP. Now tell me. All books, library books are due down, no birthdays. Bye! Have a good day! <laughs> I'm Prison Mike. It's Miss P with your joke of the day. Five guys walk into a store. You would have think one of them would have seen it. Good morning, Bulldogs. This is your day in history. I'm T Money. I'm E Money. In 1856, Senator Charles Sumner speaks out against slavery. In 1921, Congress sharply curbs immigration by setting a national quota system. And in 1935, the National Football League adopts an annual college draft that begins in 1936. In 1975, NYC's Chinatown shuts down due to protests against police fertility. In 1997, avian flu kills a three-year-old boy. When it was finally controlled, there was a total of six deaths overall. And that's it. Have a great day. What's up, Milton Union? This is your sports report. I got your MLB scores from yesterday. The Indians beat the Angels 6-5. to five. The Cubs beat the Nationals 6-3. to three. The Yankees beat the Rangers 7-4, and the Reds lost to the Giants 4-2. We got the Spurs versus the Grizzlies tonight, and then we got the Warriors against the Lakers. Track is at Grand for Districts tomorrow, and Cooper Brown and Tyler Kress are seated third at Districts tomorrow for tennis. That's it, y'all have a great day. What's up, Bulldog Nation? Welcome to West Miller Weather with Weather Boy Ray Sean. It's currently sunny and 73 degrees out. We got a high of 79 and a low of 55. Tomorrow it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 84 and a low of 61. Also pollen count today. It's very high today and tomorrow's going to be very high. That's it. Y'all have a great day. Shaggy, baby, it's time for stonks, yeah. It's your day, everybody. I'm Mason. I'm Nick. And I'm your daily stonks review today. Dow Jones. Is down 1.37% in the S&P 500s, down 1.45%, and yes, the Nasdaq's down 1.6%. Mm -hmm. Yep. The winner is uh, Samara Luggage, and the loser is UP uh, Holding. Anyways, JP Morgan is saying that institutional investors are all pulling their money from Bitcoin and putting it back in the good old gold. This is because Bitcoin has gone down 30% to almost $30,000 per Bitcoin when it was at $60,000 last week. Rest in peace, Bitcoin. Have a good day! Daily health fact. Laughing is good for your heart and increases blood flow. Just touched me. Yeah. Yeah, it's Sammy Swizzle. What are you gonna do about it?